Hi there, this is a video for how to use the agreements website. So let's just get started. In the beginning, it says a welcome page, and that's what you'll see first. If you go to purchase and sale agreements, you're going to find protected, and you'll be given the password on the email. And you just put the password in there, and that opens up. In wholesaling, same thing, password, rehabs, same thing, password, seller financing, you'll get a password. Now, lease options when you buy, whether you assign or do a sandwich, that will be in there. When you sell on lease with option or lease purchase, that will be on there. And then wraparound mortgage will be there and subject to existing financing or sub two will be in there. Straight option will be in there. Joint venture partner agreements will be in there. Land trust will be in there. Landlord tenant, if you need notices to tenants, that will be in there. Private first mortgage, when you get a private first mortgage loan on an IRA lender, that will be in there. Credit repair will be in there. And then letters of intent are samples that we've used in the past. So let's just look at a couple. If you click on letter of intent and then you type in the password, you will see this. Now, I'm logged into the box.net and you won't see this, but if I just do that, you'll see all these letters of intent. And these are either forms that are blank or ones that we've used in the past. And that will help you a lot when you're learning how to draft a letter of intent. Now, if you want to go into seller financing and look at a wraparound mortgage, you will see these links here. And all you need to do is to right click on this, save the link, and you'll be able to, um, actually, I'm sorry, if you click on that, your document will be here, and then you download it from there. Okay? Sorry about that. And so if you click on that, that will open up, and then you download it from there. And you click on this one, Wraparound Mortgage Rider. And it, you'll be able to download the rider from there. Okay? And then if you go back into seller financing and you look at subject two, you just left click and your addendum is there and so forth. So I hope you've enjoyed this particular recording on how this works. It's pretty simple. Just put in the password, left click, you'll open up the document. Okay? Thanks so much for listening to this recording. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, contact me. All the best to you.